Yeah, I don't know who the fuck to trust Is he my friend or my foe? I'm a f*** extra bro Yeah, she give me that clean my ass roll I remember back when I was younger I was happy Nowadays feel like no one understand me I'm good at all this Silly, I'm bought the baby Baby, see yellow text what is up you guys, I hope you all doing well, I'm Tony Fuentes and today it's going to be a quick one which is going to jump into the effect of double exposure in post edition, doing it with a smartphone and also in Photoshop. Now a bit of history about this effect, it used to be done in film and analog cameras where you would shoot an image on top of another one in the same reel, creating this overlay of two photographs, creating this double exposure effect. Now in today's cameras you can do it with in-camera apps. For example, Sony, you can download a double exposure app also for the Canon. But today we're just going to concentrate in post edition, whether it be in cell phone or in Photoshop, guys. So let's jump into our cell phones first and edit this, guys. So the app that we need for this is called Snapseed. There are many apps that can do this, but Snapseed is a very nice app. Just going to open it. And then we're just going to open all the images that we want to edit. The first one that we're going to open, I'm just going to select this one of two people walking down on Tokyo. And in this case, here we can see that we have a lot of tools. There are several tools that are very advanced, like curves and everything like that. So it's a very complete app and it's free also for Android and for iPhone. Then we're just going to select double exposure. And on the button that appears on the bottom left, we're going to select it and select another image to complement this one. Normally the images that I want to choose are ones with parts that are overexposed or underexposed so they can complement the original one so it's not too busy. So I'm just going to select this one of the traffic lights. Now in the middle button we can select the type of overlay that we want to use. So in this case normally I use lighten, darken or simply the overlay or the default one. So I'm just going to go with the default one. Then the button on the right allows us to control the opacity of the new layer. Then we're just going to select the plus or the check mark sign. Now we're not finished yet guys, we're going to click on the button up here. Then we're going to select view edits and here we can basically see all the history of our edits and edit them independently. So we're going to select double exposure. Then we're going to click on the button in the middle with a little pencil. And now this is basically a masking tool. So we're just going to color all parts of the image that we want to double expose or erase. So we can also change the opacity by pulling down the double exposure or pulling up. And then we can also erase it by going all the way down to the zeros to be a bit more precise. And just like that, guys, we can edit, just hit the check mark sign, and then we can go back to the original or the main screen and export this image. So that's basically how I do it in my mobile device where I don't have my computer. But if I want to be a bit more precise and add a little bit more, I always go to Photoshop and edit in Photoshop, guys. So let's jump into it. So guys, once in Photoshop, uh, I'm sorry that it's in Spanish. Uh, I tried to change it to English, but my Photoshop was not having it. So we have our images and the simplest thing to do is simply drag one on top of the other. And when I drag it over here, then after I just scale it, and once I scale it and reposition it wherever I want, and then once we've selected it, select the layer and over here on top of the layers we have our blending modes or our overlay types. So basically we just scroll down through them and see which one looks better guys. Just go over them, all of them and in this case I'm just going to select this one or this one which is lighten. And it's basically the same that we had on Snapseed, it's their own version. And then over here just going to select this icon over here to create a mask and then with the brush tool with black or white, you can basically just delete or color the parts that you want in the image. So in this case, I don't want these parts of the image. I'm just going to really delete them. And also you can be a bit more precise here with the amount of screen that you have. So you can really nail down all the details if you want to guys, if you take your time. Then I'm just going to clean up a bit of the image, the original crap, I don't want anything on top of it. Just going to delete some stuff. And then if you want to add a bit more exposure or anything like that guys you can always go down to the effects add a contrast mask and then down here just click on this little button over here which will only be applicable to the top layer or to the bottom immediate layer just going to add a bit more exposure and a bit more contrast to make it a bit more dramatic just like that guys so that's about it guys that's what i do to achieve the double exposure effect on mobile and on Photoshop guys. So remember, just take your time to be a bit more precise and you can achieve truly outstanding results. Now guys, remember to put down in the comment section down below any effect that you want me to analyze and to do. Also, 
a way you can support me, the best way you can support me is by sharing this content, maybe on Facebook, maybe to a friend that really needs to see this, guys. That's a way you can ensure that I can continue to do this for the foreseeable future, guys. Anyway, guys, if you did like the video, can you please give it a like? It really makes a difference and consider subscribing. I'm Tony Fuentes. Cheers to all of you. See you in the next one. Surfing, rock in the parking lot, my weed lighter than like the game, blah blah. I be on her mind like nonstop, yeah. Had a cut the little thought, no time I Remember smoking blunts with my friends. The second's a couple of dead, uh, yeah. Lost a lot to the fan. That's the shit got me upset. But at eight, then I finally leave doggy, I'm smoking with side. Four, four, I'm a zombie. It's a girl, but she won. These four boys think I'm cocky.